Hi, my name's Rebecca Lees and I'm a Body Structures Engineer at Jaguar Land Rover. I joined Jaguar Land Rover on the Graduate Scheme, which I was part of for two years. After that, I was in Materials Engineering, where I developed new grades of aluminium. I'm now working in Body Structures, where I'm using those new aluminium grades and putting them onto our new aluminium vehicles. So at Jaguar Land Rover, from concept to delivery of a vehicle, generally takes around four to five years, from very initial blue sky research to actually the first car rolling off the production line. New grades of aluminium are really important for Jaguar Land Rover because they enable us to further lightweight our vehicles which further enables us to put smaller powertrains into the cars so we can get lower tailpipe emissions. Lower tailpipe emissions are better for the environment so we get lower carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere. One of the other grades we've been working on is a recycled version of aluminium which enables to get lower life cycle emissions. With using recycled aluminium, we also put lower carbon dioxide into the atmosphere when we're producing the aluminium from raw materials. There's a lot of competition in the automotive market and Jaguar Land Rover is at the forefront of aluminium technology. We really stride towards a lighter weight vehicle compared with our competitors. Most of this vehicle is aluminium and we use three main techniques to manufacture it. These parts are made from aluminium sheet. These parts here are aluminium castings. And then we also have aluminium extrusions and each one does a critical job in the role of producing the vehicle, so it's important that we use all three techniques. Aluminium enables us to, on average, give about a 40% weight saving over a traditional steel vehicle. And my love of engineering has really come from quite a young age. I've always been a daddy's girl and I've liked Lego and Meccano and following him around in the garage, and that's really just progressed then through my school years. He was an engineer, he's always in the garage. I had my first tool set when I was about three. At school, I studied A-levels, where I studied maths, physics, design and technology, and business studies. I then went on to university to, to study mechanical engineering before then taking a separate master's in advanced materials. Design and technology probably was my favorite one, followed by business studies. I chose design and technology firstly because I really liked my teacher, he was really inspirational, but also because I really liked to do hands-on things and that's one of the few subjects you can do at school where you can really have a good physical input into your projects. So one of the most fun aspects of my job is when we get to drive the prototype cars. So this is when they've got camouflage on. Camouflaging the vehicles is where we put a print on the vehicle so that we can disguise it from our competitors and no one's driven them before. So that's a great experience to be able to drive those both out on the road, on the track or off-road so we can uh, take the cars up to their top speeds. The latest car that I've been out in is the F-Type which is a really exciting drive. My proudest moment at Jaguar Land Rover is seeing vehicles on the road which I've helped develop the grades for. The first example of this was the Range Rover Evoque where I developed some of the aluminium grades. That was really exciting to see that. Other Jaguar Land Rover models I've been involved with include the new Range Rover, Range Rover Sport, Jaguar F-Type. Thinking about the design brief you've been given, first of all I would suggest that you look at what's been done before and maybe try and take some inspiration from them but then try and use your imagination and think about what we might want to see on the roads in 5, 10, 15 years time. 